गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ आवर ट्रिप करेंटली वी आर इन वाराणसी इट्स मॉर्निंग टाइम वी आर स्टार्टिंग फॉर वाराणसी टू आगरा एंड वी बी ट्रैवलिंग बाय लखनऊ वो जस्ट हैव अ लंच प्लान ओवर देयर दिस काशी ग्रैंड इज जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स अवे फ्रॉम द हाईवे यू कैन स्टे इन दिस होटल दे हैव फोर पार्किंग लॉट फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन टेक एन ऑटो ई ऑटो एंड गो टू दशाश्रमेद घाट और विजिट काशी विश्वनाथ टेम्पल वी हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम वाराणसी एंड आवर फर्स्ट स्टॉप इज एट लखनऊ वो यू आर गोइंग देयर जस्ट टू टेस्ट द वर्ल्ड फेमस गलौटी कबाब फ्रॉम टुंडे कबाबी वी आर कवरिंग अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी ऑड किलोमीटर्स आर शोइंग फाइव आवर्स ट्वेंटी नाइन मिनट्स दिस इज द अनयूजल वाराणसी रोड दिस इज मॉर्निंग टाइम दैट्स हाउ देर इज नो सच बिग ट्रैफिक रोड्स आर वेल बिल्ड बट द ओनली चैलेंज इज इट्स वेरी नैरो सो सिंस इट्स अ मॉर्निंग टाइम एंड देर इज नो सच बिग ट्रैफिक प्रेजेंट एट दिस पॉइंट करेंटली वी आर एबल टू ड्राइव स्मूथली one of the very famous university of our country varanasi or benaras hindi university bhu is uh, situated in this part of the country welcome to the famous varanasi traffic no rules nothing khush hoiye ab uttar pradesh mein hai yahan pe koi rules nahi chalte yahan pe bas bhaiya chalte hain ये देखो ये भैया कैसे निकल लिए कान में मोबाइल और निकल लिए किसी को जान की पड़ी नहीं है बस अपने ही धुन पे चल रहे हैं सब दिस वन इज वाराणसी जंक्शन रेलवे स्टेशन ऑन अवर राइट क्रॉसिंग जुआनपुर एरिया दिस इज अ लोकेलिटी दो बट स्टिल प्रॉपर फेंसिंग आर देयर व्हिच इज गुड फॉर ड्राइविंग गाइस वी आर अप्रोचिंग आवर फास्ट टोल फॉर द डे It's Juanpur Toll Plaza, and it is 115 rupees for a vehicle. So let's see how fast they deduct the money. And we are heading towards Lucknow from Varanasi. It's a Varanasi-Lucknow road. We should be merging in Purvanchal Expressway. Guys, uh, this is Baiti Kala Toll Plaza, and the toll charges for a light motor vehicle is 125 rupees. So this is the second toll for us for the day, and the toll gate seems pretty fast. From this place, we have to take a right turn, and we have to give the first toll on Purvanchal Expressway and get into the same. This is a proper expressway, guys. So it would be properly fenced and. having a barricades so this is the first toll on purvanchal expressway it's around 100 km per hour is the limit so first proper expressway we are on this trip called purvanchal expressway and here we go now you guys can see how should be a proper expressway so and as the landmark suggests lucknow is left Gazipur is straight so we are moving towards our left it's one of the proper expressway it's called purvanchal expressway guys just see i mean this is this is just awesome lucknow is around 120 kilometers so i believe we should complete this in one and a half hour or so as you can see uh, the car limit is 100 so we can drive till 100 km per hour actually uh, the road is something where uh, we wish to drive in 140 150 but uh, there are cameras everywhere so it's not recommended to drive more than 100 km per hour and 100 is sufficient so if we move towards straight i showing that ayodhya and jagdishpur is there and see i mean so wide and totally fenced a proper road where you will definitely love to drive i mean anyone who love anyone who wants to drive they should try their hands on this road please do visit this road please do drive on this road at least 
some extent the one good thing or rather one information is every 100 uh, kilometers you would be getting one area where you guys can take your food water soft drinks and all and then again you can start so that's the beauty of purvanchal expressway पथेर क्लांति भूले स्नेह भरा कोले तब मागो बोलो कब शीतल हब कत दूर आर कत दूर बोलो मो गाइज एट दिस पॉइंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू अयोध्या यू हैव टू टेक दिस लेफ्ट वन एंड वी आर मुविंग टू वर्ड स्ट्रेट सिंस यू लाइक टू to lucknow the entire road is just awesome there is no point of denying that this road is one of the best road in india guys we are approaching our second toll on purvanchal expressway i am entering lane number 4 we are uh, heading towards lucknow it's just 1 km and it's towards our left so we have uh, given our indicator towards left and in next 900 meters we have to leave this expressway again in the evening from lucknow to agra we'll be getting into another such expressway it's time for us to say goodbye to this wonderful road constructed by government of india called purvanchal expressway and this is the point where we need to take left and here we have taken our left and we are now entering to the city of nawab guys we are uh, entering lucknow city it's just some 100 odd meters from entering the city so guys we are actually heading towards uh, an area called aminabad and in the same area we would be getting all the shops like tunde kababi then we have uh, prakash ki kulfi then we have a shop for chicken curry products with that uh, let's enter the city of nawab Lucknow let's enter the city of Kabab let's enter the city of Bada Imam Bada let's enter the city of Biryani we people who are from Calcutta our Calcutta biryani has actually evolved from Lucknow biryani as we all know Nawab Wajid Ali Shah has gone to Calcutta to get himself hidden from the British empire and with him all the cousins from lucknow actually traveled to calcutta and in calcutta he has added potato into the biryani i know this is a travel information but still biryani is something most of the foodies love to hear about it so once nabab wajid ali shah moved to calcutta he moved with his khan samas his cooks and the biryani what calcutta got it's actually a version of lucknow biryani and in calcutta potato was introduced into biryani so in entire country only calcutta is the place where you get potato in biryani now wow potato has been added into biryani i had an opportunity to had a word with the great granddaughter of nawab wajid ali shah her name is manzilat fatima so what ma'am said is the time when nawab wajid ali shah moved to calcutta that time potatoes were not being cultivated in india and wajid ali shah being nawab he has to show his nawabiana he has to show his royalness so he imported potatoes from persia at that time and introduced into biryani the biryani he used to eat to show the people that i am the nawab i am the king that's how potato has been introduced into calcutta biryani guys uh, this is that famous tunde kababi 
and we just had our lunch over here. I'll show you how these people prepare their kebabs. Just see. It's been amazed. You see that. This is how they prepare. Guys, uh, we are just about to get into Agra Lucknow Expressway. Some traffic just before we get into the expressway. So we'll also refill our car here uh, because uh, it's almost 300 odd kilometer we have to travel to Agra and in the expressway as I said there is no petrol pumps so it's better to refuel your car. Uh, guys we have just entered the Agra Lucknow expressway. Don't think that this kind of lighting would be there throughout it's just the entry that's how they have given some lights it's around 309 kilometer so we would be cruising somewhere around 100 odd kilometers per hour and uh, next exit is at 63 kilometer so till next 63 kilometer just sit back relax the good thing about uh, driving on an expressway in the 90s, the, the view would be mesmerizing. So we are on it. Let's see. We are on the expressway and the car is cruising. The speed limit on this uh, road is 100 km per hour though. But we are keeping a speed of 90. It will take uh, roughly around 3 more hours for us to reach Agra. I just wanted to do this video at this time just to show you how this expressway looks like in the night time. As you can see this is a butterly smooth road. Driving on this highway is just a dream for everyone. Just drive carefully, don't over speed, maintain your lane. Uh, guys, we are at uh, Itawa exit. Uh, from this point, uh, the people who wants to go to Itawa, they have to take the left exit and they can go to their respective destination in Itawa. And people who are going towards Agra, they can continue straight. Agra is roughly around uh, 80 kilometers and it will take uh, roughly around some 50 55 minutes for us we are cruising at 95 and uh, this exit is Firozabad exit last exit was Itawa so there are two exits in this point people who wants to come down to Itawa they have to take the first exit and people who want to get down to Firozabad they have to take the second exit this is towards Agra from Lucknow this is the exit uh, from which uh, if you take left, see some of the cars are taking left. So if you are taking left then you are exiting at Firozabad. If you go for another 25 kilometers, you will get down at Agra and uh, we might be paying some more tolls but we can at least save some 15-20 minutes time uh, which is not bad and uh, driving on this kind of uh, expressway is much better guys after you cross this Firozabad exit there is a toll plaza and we have to pass through this toll plaza so we are taking lane number 10 we are just around 20-25 minutes away from our destination we have to still go 18 km on this expressway and then last 10 km we would be travelling within Agra city. We are approaching the exit through which we have to take left. So people who are travelling to Delhi they would be keeping right and this expressway would be meeting Yamuna expressway and it will go to Delhi. So guys this is the place just see. So we are keeping left. We are entering Agra city through the inner ring road. We are entering the city of Agra 
we are entering the city of Taj Mahal. Guys, we have uh, finished our trip from Varanasi to Agra. We travelled via Lucknow. We had our lunch over there with some mouth-watering kebab. We covered almost 600 kilometers. Here we reach our destination for tonight. Guys, we reached Agra. We reached the city of Taj Mahal. We are staying very near to Taj Mahal. We are staying in a hotel. The name of the hotel is Taj Nirvana. The range would be somewhere around 1,500 to 3,000, 3,500. The good thing about the hotel is it has ample car parking space. With this guys, I am concluding this video. This is Varanasi to Agra. Uh, please, please do like and share my videos with your friends and families. And of course, please, please do subscribe to my channel which is Musafir Hu Yaro 1985 and put the bell icon so that you get all the updates for the upcoming videos which I would be posting in the days to come as I always say I am not a professional youtuber I share the information with you guys just to help you with the confidence with that I am signing off please do take care of yourself and goodbye